like and subscribe on the way in the door, people. Today, this video won't be too long, but I just want to uh, give a shout out to another player uh, that doesn't get mentioned enough. Uh, you know, I talk about or I've talked about how today's modern NBA players just do not seem to have any uniqueness. It's like they all learn to dribble out of the same playbook. They all learn to shoot out of the same playbook. You know, it's just, everybody just looks very similar. And that did not used to be the case. And uh, today I want to talk about one of those players who had that uniqueness. And that is Stacy Augman, a.k.a. The Plastic Man. I think Stacy's best years were the years he played for Atlanta, for the Atlanta Hawks. Now, he was never a super high points per game averager, but, you know, he averaged uh, probably about 14 points when he was on the Hawks, uh, about a steal and a half, you know, a couple of assists, about five rebounds, roughly. Um, However, you know, he was one of those players that was definitely an impact on the game. And uh, he got that nickname, the Plastic Man, because, you know, if you watched him move around the court, <laughs> you know, sometimes the way he would uh, be able to bend his body, you know, it, it would look like plastic, so to speak. You know, good first step, athletic, uh, some of the moves he would do to finish at the rim he, uh, were unique to him. You know, he had some some double clutch shots and things like that. You know, they didn't look uh, like Jordan's did, but they were his and his own style. A lot of the ways that he would be able to contort his body at the rim to finish a play was very unique to him. And, uh, and some of the ways that he would dunk on people, uh, like I said, just a very athletic guy. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, it seems like after he left the Hawks, uh, he didn't have too much of a career after that, you know. And he suffered some injuries over the years and things like that. So, uh, you know, I don't ever know if we got to see him reach his full potential. But anyway, you know, like I said, he was one of those players who could definitely have an impact on the game, who could definitely give you something exciting to watch. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as I go back and do some more of these uh, older players to, to put some respect on them to, uh, so that they are not forgotten, you know, as I go back through some of these players, it's starting to make me question more and more uh, this whole notion of these today's players being more athletic, actually. You know, I, I think maybe, uh, obviously, they have access to some things that older, you know, players from previous generations didn't, you know. And I think, you might know, maybe, maybe they have a more athletic-looking physique, but in terms of actually being more athletic, like faster, can jump higher and, those things, yeah, may, maybe on average. But as I keep going back through some of these older players, I'm, I'm starting to realize that 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 notion is probably a lot more overblown uh, than what than what the case actually is. Because again, Stacy Augman uh, was definitely an athletic player. You know, uh, one play I can remember, I can't remember who it was on, but you know, he actually dunked on this player backwards. And it, and it wasn't like a, uh, you know, where you're already close to, to the rim and you kind of beat the player off the ground to get the dunk. You know, he, he kind of jumped from far up, from far back and turned around and dunked on this dude backwards. And uh, that that's the kind of stuff that he was capable of. That's the kind of stuff that you could get from him. And like I said, aside from that, just uh, some great finish. Just go 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 look at some uh, Stacy Augman, Augman highlights. Like I said, some of his double clutch finishes at the rim, some of the ways that he was able to um, 
uh, adjust his body to finish at the rim. And like I said, and you know, he had a pretty quick first step as well. And, um, you know, just, just some of the different moves that he could use to get around you. But anyway, I just wanted to put some respect on the plastic man, Stacy Augman. Uh, like I said, I think he's probably most remembered for playing on the Atlanta Hawks. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments, especially for those of you who uh, grew up in that era and remember seeing Stacey Augman. Uh, let me know what you remember about this guy. Uh, for you young kids who don't know anything about Stacey Augman, go check out some Stacey Augman highlights. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. You all have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. All right.